and also have to ask them to hold properly the penis against the abdomen. So then we have to examine the testes. So we have to examine properly. So how to uh, like a uh, hold uh, this testes in between the um, index finger and also middle finger and also in between the thumbs have to hold and also have to identify the any swelling and also any nodules, any uh, like a, any lumps in the testes. So if any abnormality is identified during the process of the inspections, the patient concerned about the particular testes perform the examination of the normal testicle first. So for example, the patient complain the right side. So first we have to check for the left, then we can start in the right side. So ask the patient to report any pain or discomfort during examinations. So during the examination, any pain, any tenderness, any other abnormality. So how to uh, explain the patient to the, the physicians. And also use the both the thumbs and also index finger gently palpate the whole testicles. So this one is going to be identify the size of the testicles or any abnormality in the testicles. So gently rubbing the motion between the thumb and index finger. So how to find any lumps are sometimes unable to locate the testicles in the scrotal regions. So maybe we have to palpate lung pathways in the ligaments. So sometimes you are having the abnormalities such as the undescent testicles. So sometimes we cannot found the, these testicles inside the scrotum. So in the undescent testicles, maybe we can found in the, in the abdomen, lower abdomen in the groin regions, maybe inguinal regions. So it won't come to the scrotal regions. So that's why we have to identify where they're having the scrotum. So if you see in case of the, in the, in this, uh, this testicle sometimes stop in the groin. So it's maybe is the, uh, stop the abnormal pathways. So that's the reasons we have to identify the scrot the testes are there in the scrotum or in the groin region or in the abdominal region. So because it depends upon the involvement or depends upon the congenital abnormalities. So may chance to get the, this, the undescent testicles we can uh, seen in the, the congenital abnormalities. And also while examinations, we have to examine the, the, like in the, in the testicles as well as we have to check for the palpate, the spermatic card and also vas deferens. Why these things are, so these are going to be reveal the, any the reveal the, how is the spermatic card and also vas deferens. Any abnormality or maybe the straight, like is the, like a tubular structure. So sometimes we are having the varicocele or in case of any damage of the vas deferens and also spermatic cards. So this area is going to be enlarged or also not tubular structure, or maybe it's going to be like a mesh appearance, maybe enlargement we can see, or maybe swelling of the, this uh, testicles may be, be, uh, become so limp. So in these conditions, we can suspect any varicocele. So varicocele means that is enlargement of the, this vas deferens or maybe abnormality of the vas deferens. So if you see the image here, the normally the vas deferens and also is going to be like a card like appearance, spermatic card and also vas deferens. But in case of varicocele, so this vas deferens is going to be enlarged. So is because of the, this is also nothing but is one type of the, the enlargement of the vein. So how in the, our legs, how the varic uh, uh, varicose veins also, we can see in the legs. So the enlargement of the veins in the, in the legs. So here also same in the scrotal region, the veins becomes enlarged. So that condition is called as the varicocele. So if anybody get this varicocele, so they may chance to get the swelling inside the scrotal regions. And also they are going to get the symptoms such as the low sum, uh, sperm productions and also is a decrease the qualities. The sperm count also is going to be decreased or and also the motility and also the sperm function also going to be decreased. And also decrease in the uh, size of the testicles. So size is going to be decreased and a decrease in the testosterone productions. So who are having these uh, uh, varicoceles, the testosterone productions are going to be decreased. So they may chance to get the testicular pains and also swelling. So may chance to get. So because of these complications, they may face the other complications such as like a, uh, like a decreasing the uh, like a sexual functions or maybe impotency or maybe the sperm count is going to be decreased. So they may not produce the like a proper uh, in the mobile sperms. So these leads to may chance to get the uh, impotency. So they may chance to get the impotency also. So these are the causative factors for the uh, varicoceles. And also we have to check during the examination of the scrotum and also testicles. 
and also another examination procedures in the testes. So we have to, after checking the any lump or any further swellings, so after the sperm and also spermatic card and so vas deferens, so we have to do the, the trans elimination examinations. So these trans elimination examinations, so nothing but we are going to like a test the, identify the abnormality in the, especially in the scrotal or in the testis regions. So this is going to be the bright light is going to be used to assess the, the any abnormality in the testis and the scrotum, so below the skin levels. So if we put this, uh, the bright light is going to give the clear information, any other abnormality, any swelling or any like a discolorations or we are going to clearly observe the, the patients uh, in the testis regions. So this one is going to, we can ask them to, uh, you can ask them to hold like a stretch the testis. So if we put the light, we can clearly examine the, any abnormalities in the testis, such as any swelling or in case of any skin color changes. So we are going to find the abnormality with a special test. And also another neurological examinations we have to found in the, in the, in the examining the scrotum also. So these things, so who are having the normal functions are of the nervous system, especially spinal cord injury patients. So we have to do the like a cremastic reflex. These cremastic reflex, the patient has to lie down on the, the examination table. So the patient is relaxed. So that, uh, and also the physician has to take the uh, reflex hammer or maybe is the sharp object. So these things, so have to stroke, uh, stroke the inner border of the thigh. So if the stimulus give the inner border of the thigh, normally is going to be the stroke, uh, the scrotal is going to be constricted. The elevation of the scrotum is going to be a contraction of the scrotum will happen in the normal people. But who are having this uh, abnormality, such as the spinal cord injury patients or any neurological injury patients, if we give a stimulus in the, over the medial border of the thigh, so unable to construct the construction of the contraction of the scrotum. So that means there is no upward movement of the scrotum. So in these conditions, if we examine, so we can know the, the any like a, <clears throat> any neurological injuries there or not. So this also commonly we can see after spinal cord injury who are having the spinal shock or not, we can examine through the, the special test. So this special test is called as the cremastic reflex. And also along with another special test also is the bulbo cavernous reflex. So bulbo cavernous reflex also another examining the neurological examinations. So here we have to press the, the glands penis in the male patients. If you press the glands penis, so automatically the contraction of the, the, the uh, penis muscles. The, so this going, the musculature of the penis is going to contract. So here is the capus, uh, caviosum is going to be contract and also is going to give the stimulus. If the stimulus over the penis, glands penis, the contraction may appear in the, and the muscles of the penis and also contraction of the anal sphincters. So they can, we can find. So these two special tests, we can find who are having the neurological injury. So is going to be diminished. So we can differentiate the who are having the neurological injury or is the person is a normal. So with the, these two special tests, that is the cremastic reflex and also bulbo cavernous reflex. So, and also after checking all these things, we have to find any other abnormalities such as any multiple lumps in case of lymphadenopathy. So if you find any multiple lumps, so that is maybe because of the lymphadenopathy, any abnormality in the lymphatic system, any enlargement of the lymph nodes, we can find. Are any hard or nodular consistency? So if the, the nodules or lump is the heart, so we can suspect for the any malignancy or any tumors. And also able to get above the lump during the, the during the palpations. So is there any scrotal mass we are going to find? So in case of the hydrocele, we are going to do the trans elimination with a special test. We are going to find the any fluid inside the scrotal regions or any accumulation of the fluid in the testes, so it may it will uh, give it is called as the hydrocele. And also we can have to found the auscultations, any brood sound in the testicular uh, regions. So it may be, so in over the testes, if you auscultate any brood sound, any abnormal sound, so we can found, so in case of any arteriovenous malformations. So that means any abnormality in the arteries and veins. So we are going to find the, found the, with the stethoscope, with the, this abnormal sound, in the testes, so that which is uh, due to because of uh, arteriovenous malformations.